What's going on, guys? Frosty Tour 2021 begins today. We're out trying to catch some rainbow trout. I'm joining Paul and some other people out there today to hopefully get into a bunch. We're going to use a certain lure today that I've been really playing with called the Atomic Teaser. I hope we can get him. I've had luck in the past. Let's see if we can get it done today. Stay tuned and let's enjoy the show. Oh yeah, that sun is finally out. And does it feel good? Ooh, man. Tell you what though, what would feel better is a fish, wouldn't it? Man, if I could get a fish with that sunset right there in front of you guys, that would just make for it epic. Makes a difference, you know, when I was here, before the sun it was like negative 10, 12. Now with the sun out, it starts to gradually warm up. But any sun is good. Or oh, there's a fish below us. Either a fish or some weeds. Sometimes it's hard to determine because there's people drilling behind me and they interfere and sometimes we pass over this way. But I think there is a fish on the bottom. Oh, fish on me, fish on me, fish on me, fish on me. Got him. Uh huh. Not big. Hell, it ain't even pulling. That under the ice. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Dude. I don't. Yeah, that's a bigger one. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. Yes! All right, Paul, thank you so much. And yes, we will keep harvesting some, guys. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Got it! Oh my god, he bit, he bit, he bit. He came back for it, though. Got him. Oh my god. Got him that time. Freaking A. No, missed him, missed him, missed him. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh guys, that that sucks. Seriously, my line is icing up still, gentlemen. <laughs> that was an earthquake below us. That ice shifted, guys, up. All right, guys, a little update. Um, the morning bite was really slow. I ended up catching about three rainbows and one pike, and Paul got a couple. I have moved all the way to the west side of the lake where I'm going to continue to see if I can get into some afternoon bite. But not the best day of fishing. I thought this earliest would be a lot better, but uh, these fish are just finicky and uh, got to just play them right. So let's see how we do the rest of the day. Well, I am in a short sleeve shirt because I just walked half a mile boy am i sweating there we go it goes really deep guys i mean it starts at like 9 to 11 now and then it goes all the way to 20 not far from here i'm above some weeds we like weeds inside and outside of them is what we're looking for right now i'm above them and sometimes these fish will cruise above them too we're gonna give it five minutes and if we don't get any we're gonna go outside of them and that is where there's a shelf and it goes into that deep water and I'm trying to find them in that transition. And we have a fish on us. We have a fish on us. We got him. Well, we hooked into him. Yeah, baby. But can we hang on to him? That is the real question. There's the proof. <laughs> Don't let him bounce that head much at all. Here he is, we're gonna let him go. Well, that was quick. Right off that shelf, off those weeds. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna go dig, get down there. Chris was onto something. Thank you, Chris, very much for recommending the Atomic Teaser in a Chartreuse. You know your stuff, my friend, you know your stuff. So what I'm doing here is I've got this Atomic Teaser in about 1.3 inches, in about three inches, and I'm um, tipping it with a waxy. Over here, I got a dead stick with a mealworm. 
it's about 3.20 and I think the bite is on, so we're gonna get back and see if we can catch him. There we go. Not a bad fish, guys. Not a bad fish. I cannot stress the importance of staying for the afternoon bite because most people think the morning bite is better. In some cases, yes, but the afternoon bite is non-stop. So we're gonna get back down there and see if we can catch more. We're in about 11.5 feet of water. It's about 3.45 in the afternoon. I love to wait this late because almost any species in any lake turns on immediately around that afternoon bite. The bite just doesn't exist, you know. This is how cold it's been all day. This water, never on thought. But what can you do? You bury the elements, you catch the fish. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a chubby one. We're gonna let him go. We've got about 9% left of the battery. Hopefully it stays alive until about four o'clock. Wow, smack that heart. Oh, yeah, a nice fish. <laughs> yes, it came right out of his mouth right as we got it at the hole we're gonna let him go what do you guys think should we catch one more yeah let's catch one more just because it's about four o'clock sunset is about 4 35. we want to have a nice walk in the uh daylight so we're just gonna land one more fish and i think call it a day i'd say another big oh here we go here we go here we go I think I'm seeing one on the bottom. I think one of the biggest reasons why I've had a lot of success in this area is I'm right on the edge of a shelf that also has weeds. So the advantage that I have is a shelf and a weed line. So I think that's the lane they're coming in. And I'm gonna use a reference point because a lot of times I, I come out to these things and I never notice where I'm at. But I'm gonna use a reference point. Good old fish finder has 2% left. <laughs> I'm riding it to the end. It's so cold. Seriously, dude. Water never thought out. Never. Sorry, Paul. You uh, left your Skittles with me. Gotta get a snack. I'm starving. I literally didn't eat much at all. Hopefully they don't have an expiration date. They look ancient. Let's have a seat. Eat some candy. Try to catch some fish. Jag fishing. What's up, brother? How are you doing, man? I'm just going to different parts of the state, man. I'm excited because I couldn't. I had a rough couple of outings. I fell through the water, man. That sh oh, I caught a fish while talking to you. Don't your TV. <laughs> Ooh, he, you hear the drag? <laughs> yes, sir. 
I'm talking to Jack, guys, and he just caught a fish here. Oh, here we go, here we go. Let me land it. Let me land it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I lost him. Lost him at the hole. Well, guys, I uh, finally lost one on the ice because it cut the lure. So, good idea to actually replace some line and uh, retie. There's a lot of stress caused on that line, you know. So, I'm just putting a chartreuse atomic teaser back on since it's crack for these fish today. Uh, just doing a by the way, just to, if I, in case I missed any of this today, I'm just doing a clinch knot, which has held up pretty darn well. Um, yep, and it's a three inch atomic teaser. And all I'm really doing is uh, tipping it with the wax worm. My key to the wax worm though is I break the tail off a little bit so that juice is flowing. So and what I'm doing is just letting it go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. Once it's there, I lift it up about six inches, and that's where I'm getting most of my fish, and I've got a fish on me already. I know I said one more, you know, but every time you say one more, you just keep catching them, and it's like, just on and on and on. <laughs> it's never just one more. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's always worth that sticking one when you're actively jigging the other, especially when that bite is hot. Tangled. Tangled. I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, that's a nice fish. Jesus. Oh, guys, we did it, man. We got a lot of fish today using the atomic teaser with a few simple jigging methods. They were all over the water column. I started in 7 feet, all the way to 12, and even some in 20. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Getting out on early ice is really the key to a successful outing for some fat, fat trout. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.